My name is David, I'm a grandfather, and I'm going to read a book called No Place Like Home by Jonathan Emmett. Hot diggity, said Mole, as he climbed out of the ground one morning. It was a beautiful day, the sun was shining, and there were flowers everywhere. Suddenly, Mole's burrow seemed very small and dark and dull. Why should I live underground, Mole said to himself, when I could live somewhere bright and big and beautiful instead. And Mole set off on a search for his new home. He hadn't gone far when he came across Hedgehog. Hello, Mole, said Hedgehog. Where are you off to? I'm looking for a new home, exclaimed Mole. Somewhere big and beautiful and bright. I know just the place, said Hedgehog. Follow me. So what do you think, asked Hedgehog, as they crawled into a hollow log. But the wind was whistling right through it. Well, said Mole, shivering. It's very big, but it's too drafty for me. I want somewhere a little more snug. Mole and Hedgehog had just crawled out of the log when they saw Squirrel. What's up? says Squirrel. I'm looking for a new home, exclaimed Mole. Somewhere bright and beautiful and snug, added Hedgehog. I know just the place, said Squirrel. Follow me. What do you think, said Squirrel, as Mole clambered into an empty bird's nest. Mole tried to feel at home in the nest, but he was afraid of falling out. Well, he said, it's very bright, but it's too dangerous for me. I'd like somewhere a little more safe. Hedgehog, Squirrel and Mole had just climbed back to the ground when Rabbit came bounding up. What's happening, said Rabbit. I'm looking for a new home, exclaimed Mole. Somewhere beautiful and snug, added Hedgehog, and safe, added Squirrel. I know just the place, said Rabbit. Rabbit led Mole and Hedgehog to a little stream. Over there, he said, hopping easily from stone to stone to get across the stream. What do you think, said Rabbit, as they scrambled into a hollow beside a sparkling waterfall? Mole tried to feel at home in the hollow, but he kept getting splashed. Well, he said, it's very beautiful, but it's too wet for me. I want somewhere a little more dry. It was getting late and Mole still hadn't found his new home. I didn't think it would be difficult, sighed Mole. Don't worry, we'll find somewhere, said Rabbit. We just need to give it some thought, said Squirrel. So they all sat down and thought and thought and thought. I know just a place, said Mole. He led Squirrel, Hedgehog and Rabbit back across the woodland to a familiar looking hole. But this is your old home, said Rabbit, Hedgehog and Squirrel. I know, said Mole happily. Isn't it wonderful? It's not big or bright or beautiful, but it feels just right for me. It was dark outside and a storm swept across the woodland, but everyone was very comfortable, snuggled in Mole's burrow. It's so snug, said Hedgehog, and safe, said Squirrel, and dry, said Rabbit. Yes, said Mole contentedly, there's no place like home.